All right, guys, Black here. Hey, listen, several days ago, I took my niece to Arizona Bar and Grill or restaurant or whatever that is, Stonecrest Mall. You know, actually, I think it was Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Well, anyway, I ordered a steak. That and I ordered medium well, like I always did. I think I ordered um, baked potato and something else. Oh, a salad, Caesar salad. The lady bought me the Caesar salad. I took one bite, and it was the nastiest Caesar salad I've ever had. I took another bite, and it didn't get any better. Okay. So I told her to take the Caesar salad back. I didn't want it. It was um, nasty. I mean, she tried to say that. Um, I forgot what kind of excuse she had, but it was nasty. Also, I complained about the sweet tea being too sweet. That was the first thing I complained about. Then when they bought me the steak, the steak was overcooked. It was overcooked. But I, I hate to send back food. And by the way, the steak was $34. The dinner was $34, including the salad and the baked potato. So I went ahead and ate the steak, but I asked her to call the manager over. He looked at the steak and I asked him, was this medium well? And he said, no, it wasn't. And he asked me, did I want another steak? And I said, no, I don't want another steak. Just give me free dessert. I actually go there for the dessert. They have this big brownie with a scoop of ice cream they put on top, and it's pretty damn good. The uh, brownie is, is warm with a bunch of nuts in it, and it's really, really good, okay? Anywho, so I think the bill was like 70 some bucks. My niece, I don't remember what she got, but I think it was like 70 some bucks, and I gave them I don't know, probably 20% of that. So it was maybe $14 or $15 tip. Okay. Um, Today, I did my bank, you know, what do they call it? Balance my checkbook or whatever. And I saw that the IRS has sent me a $600 tax return check or whatever, right? Stimulus or whatever you call that thing. I remember hearing something about it, but I didn't think we was going to be getting it anytime soon. It was a complete surprise. So anyway, I decided, you know, it's the first of the year, and I decided I was going to go and have me a good meal. So I went back to Arizona again, and again, I ordered the same $34 steak, same baked potato with extra cheese, but this time I ordered cream corn. I love cream corn. Anyway, um, the steak was overcooked again. Right. I, you know, cut a little bit of it, looked at it, overcooked. Cut a little bit again, looked at it, overcooked. You know, and I decided, look, man, this 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 don't make any sense. You know, when you spend thirty four dollars for a steak, you want the steak cooked correctly. Now, my niece, you know, she she gets a little uptight when I return stuff. You know, which I can understand. You know, you don't want to eat dinner with somebody and you don't want them to piss off the cook because you know, especially when you haven't gotten your food. But I wasn't pissy. I was just, you know, again. I'm spending a bunch of money. I deserve to get my food cooked correctly. You know, this is not McDonald's. You know, $34 for a steak is quite a bit of money. Well, today I sent the steak back and they cooked me another steak and the steak was flatter than the first steak. Okay. Well, I'm like, you know, whatever, man. Cut into this one. Damn, if it's overcooked. And I'm like, the lady asked me, she says, how is that when I said, overcooked. She goes, really? She walks over and the lighting wasn't right. You know, they got like orange um, light or whatever. So I pull out my phone, cut the, light, the flash on and showed her and she asked me to cut open in the middle. So I cut the steak in the middle and
And it's the same way. The steak is overcooked. And she said, I'm sorry, do you want another steak? And I was like, no, no, forget it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm ready to eat, so just don't worry about it. So when I got through eating the steak, I think before they bought me dessert, the manager comes over, female. Last time it was a male manager, but this time it was a female manager. And she knocked the bill down to like $23, including dessert. You know, Otherwise, it probably would have been probably $44 with the steak and dessert just by myself. But in any case, she dropped it down to $23. And I still gave the, the um, bartender, I still gave her a 20% of $40 tip. You know, but um, it just it you know I went, I went online and I looked at steaks. A medium well steak is supposed to have some pink in it. A fully cooked steak is supposed to be great. Okay, a I think the next time I'm going to order a medium steak. I'm going to order a medium steak. Maybe they'll. Maybe they'll do that. To be honest with you, I didn't know there was a medium steak. I thought there was, I knew there was a medium rare, and I knew there was a medium well, but I didn't know there was one in between until actually today. So I guess the next time I go there, I'll order a medium steak, and hopefully I can get some pink in my steak. Because when you overcook a steak, it don't taste good. It don't taste, it's hard. You know, it's overcooked. You've cooked all the juices out of it. And, you know, the cooks back there, are, the cooks are probably brothers. You know, they're probably brothers. And, again, brothers and females, black people in general, are so hung up on cooking meat all the way. You know, they have been taught to don't cook meat all the way. And they figure that, well, he's black, so... Let me not cook the steak all the way. I mean, let me cook the steak all the way because he's he's probably going to complain. But what they don't realize is I used to didn't like steak. You know, I worked, I think I told a story once before. I worked at a company and we went, we went out to eat every Christmas. We went to, uh, I think, a Longhorn. And one day the lady working in the office was like, you know, why are you not getting a steak? Why are you getting chicken? You know, I'm like, because I like chicken. And she's like, you don't want a steak? And I'm like, I hate steak. And she's like, why? I'm like, it's hard. It's hard to chew. And she's like, you know, you got to get a medium well steak. And I, that was the first time I got a medium well steak. Because I always order, you know, I ask you, how do you want your steak? I tell them, well done. Because just like I heard, you know, from my mom, if the steak is not cooked all the way, It'll make you sick. They always say, oh, white people eat their steak raw. Well, I see why they eat the steak raw. It tastes better, not necessarily raw, but it damn sure don't taste good all the way cooked. But anyway, am I going back? Yeah, I, I told them I'm going back because I love their dessert. I love their dessert. It's just next. Well, she actually told me the next time I come there to ask for her. And she was going to supervise the guy and make sure the steak is cooked correctly. Because she was saying that other people have complained about <clears throat> the steaks not being cooked correctly. But, you know, I mean, it just... And it's not just them. I, I love Stony River. In Cumberland Mall, I love Stony River. The first couple times I went there, I had a damn good steak. I mean, I had the kind of steak where when you eat the last piece, it's still juicy. But the last two, three times I went there, they overcooked the damn steak. And like I said, I hate to send back food. But, you know, people tell me, and those steaks at Stony River's are like $46. They're like $46. They're cow cowboy steaks. They're some big, thick. I mean, ain't no bull crap steak. These are steaks, you know. These are the kind of steak you see on TV, you know. Big old, thick pieces of meat. And I love a thick piece of meat. Believe that. I love a juicy, thick piece of meat. Anywho, it's enough of that, right? Uh, that's about all I got to talk about. Um, just It's hard to get a good steak. It's, you know, in Atlanta, it's hard. You know, I, they was talking about a restaurant in New York. 
And I Googled the restaurant, and hell, they closed because of the virus. I'm like, oh, well, I feel so sorry for people, you know, and the restaurant business is closed because of this virus. But <clears throat> it is what it is. I'm just glad I don't have anything to do with it. Dre, hope y'all enjoyed the video.